So here we are at the Inc. One launch from Free. It's a new social networking mobile which aims to bring Facebook, Last FM, Windows Live, Messenger, and a host of other things to your mobile phone so you can stay in touch on the go. This is the phone, the Inc. One, the first of many we're told, and it follows on from Skype's S2 phone. Designed by the same people, manufactured in China by a company called Amoy, you get a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back, HSDPA connectivity, a host of other things, no GPS unfortunately. So, what do you get? Well, the interface is very simple to use. It's a carousel at the bottom, which gives you access to a number of features, such as Gmail or Facebook. You go into Facebook and you get all your, once you've logged in and connected up, you get all your status updates, you get your profile page basically, the ability to send emails, look at photos, check out your friends. It's all very simple stuff. The same Skype application as found on the S2 gives you Skype on the go, all very similar. Now, instead of costing massive amounts of money because it's a very basic handset, it's only gonna cost you 15 pounds a month on contract or 79.99 if you wanna buy it as a prepaid option. And apart from the fact it's quite small, the only other thing we can find that's problematical with it is it comes with a standard keyboard. Now that's great for the kids who can text, but for me who's been using a Blackberry for a long time, quality keyboard fan, it'd take me hours to type anything on this. However, 3 and Inc, the makers of the phone, have promised a QWERTY version for next year, so that's worth mentioning. Other than that, it's all very simple, tiny bit limited compared to, say, the iPhone, etc. but then that's mainly because this is only 15 quid, where the iPhone's 40 quid a month. And that's the Inc 1 from 3.